All right, Bill, here's a video made special for you um, for the ping flood attack in 232. Uh, so, yeah, you do want to start Wireshark, and you definitely want to keep the not port 3389 on there because if you don't, you will see tons of stuff you don't want to. Um, that is the port that the virtual machine actually runs on com connecting to your computer. So you'd be like overwhelmed with stuff. Um, there we go. So it's capturing stuff. Okay, so that's what you want to make sure is happening. You close, you shrink it down. Don't close it down. And then in connections, oops, not connections. I don't want CTS. I want putty. There it is. Okay, so we're going to get putty. Hold on. Let me double check that again. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was weird. Usually, I thought Putty just opened up. Okay. So we're going to type in the 172.30.13 and leave port 22, leave port S22, and other default data as it is. Click open. Okay. Uh, 172.30.0.13. Leave it on port. In the default default settings. Okay. And then we're gonna log in as root and then our password is root backwards. Okay. Hey cat. There's a cat near me. T O R. You're not supposed to see the password, don't worry. Alright. Okay, so now we're in. Okay, so we're gonna do a ping the windows whose IP address is the 06 okay so the question is how do we do that okay there we go we just type that in ping 172.30.0.6 boom we're pinging we're pinging 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 and then you control C when you get tired of it. And it'll stop it. Okay. So, it seemed to work from putty. Now, there's a chance when you opened it up um, that you didn't see anything in Wireshark because sometimes it stops on its own. See here how that, if, the, if you ever see the green shark fin or blue shark fin, that means that it stopped on its own. Okay. So, we want to know that it's. Um, it's detecting the new traffic. Um, so source and destination IP addresses. So we want to see the, the 30 and the 6 communicating. Okay, so let's see. Oh, 13 and the 6. See them here? There they are talking to each other. 13 and 6, 13 and 6, 13 and 6. So they had a little conversation, right? Okay. Um, it said uh, the source and IP addresses for the replies and requests are opposite from the last time you observed it. Uh, that's because we were pinging from the uh, CTS site to our computer here. So this computer I'm on is the 06, and I jumped on with Putty. I jumped onto the other computer. So we were actually doing it from opposite sides. Okay, so now. We're going to, they want you to look in the manual and stuff like that. Basically, we want to learn how to flood it. Um, and here's how we do our ping flood. So we're going to go back there. Uh, did it say to stop the Wireshark? Or just make sure it's still running? Okay. All right, you can read the manual and learn what all those flags do. But this is the one I want to see if it works here. Okay, so... Let's try to blast our thing. So I'm making sure it's still running, which it is. I go back to putty, which is here. And we're going to run ping minus i. Oops. Um, geez, I didn't memorize this thing. Hold on. Oh, minus f minus i. Zero. Okay. Minus f minus i. Zero. 
and then we got minus s and then 4,000 and then the IP address. That's a lot of stuff there. 172, 30, 0, 6. So we're going to blast this thing again. This time we're going to mess with how many it sends and how fast it sends it with like zero wait time. Okay, so let's hit that. Boom. Look at all those pings. Going nuts. Let's see if Wireshark's capturing it. Wireshark's probably freaking out right now. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm scrolling. See all those? Ooh. Okay. I should probably stop that, shouldn't I? Control C. Okay. So that, that's the ping flood from Putty. And it happened with zero time between them and a packet size of 4,000 bytes, which is a pretty chunk of a packet instead of like 32 bytes. Um, and then we're going to stop it. We did that. And we're going to go and click stop on our wire shark. Boom. Got it. Okay. All right, and then we just want to see, get a screenshot of it happening. And really, if you saw this happening, let me make this bigger. In Wireshark, it's pretty easy to notice a ping flood attack because you see like a million of these where they're just saying echo and they're acknowledging in there. They're doing the sin act handshake. They're saying echo, ping reply, ping request. And every time it's checking, are you the person I'm supposed to send it to? Yes, I am. Here you go. Ping, ping. And like, look at the packet numbers on this thing. I'm going to scroll down here. We're at 66,000 here. That's crazy. Okay. That's a ton of packets. So that's a ping flood. And you could look at the time that it took from beginning to end and you'll see it sent like 66,000 in a matter of you know 20 seconds so that's how you can tell a ping flood when you see it it would slow down their computer and uh, hopefully you're cool with the firewall thing I'm guessing you are um, and if you notice this is the thing that uh, allows echo requests and if you get ping flooded you can stop it by turning off uh, that inbound rule remember when we used to do that stuff well, it's ICMP v4 in, and that turns off me having to respond. They can ping me all they want, but I'm not going to respond and slow my computer down. And see how it's ICMP. Anytime you see an ICMP, you can even put that filter on there. All right? ICMP, this is all the pings. You can see the early ones when they were little and didn't cause much issue. And then get all these. Ooh Okay, so hopefully that helped. I don't know. Sometimes you fire it up and it's it's um it's just weird. Uh so I think oh yeah, and then after you turn off the inbound rules, try to do it. See what happened in Wireshark, see if it even notices. Um anyway, try that out. Let me know with an email if you have any other questions. Sometimes it just misbehaves and that is uncool. Um, yes, miss you guys. I wish I was there, but I'll be back in the new year because I have to have some surgery on my busted up ankle and leg. So anyway, really did a number on it. Make the goat scream for me. All right, talk to you later, Bella.